Hey Gabrielle, it's Jake about the Traveling Photo Booth. I am uh, logged into your photo booth. So what you see on your screen right here is uh, your photo booth. So um, when the machine, when you turn the computer on, it's most likely going to automatically launch our photo booth program. If for some reason it doesn't, all you have to do is just double click, double tap the photo booth icon right here. This is TTPB. And then what's nice now with the new version is that it's automatically going to take you into Darkroom. We've really made it, um, well, we've made it a lot easier for you to continue using this without having to tinker around with calibrating and turning certain features on and off. So I just wanted to point out a couple, a couple useful um, icons in here. Um, advanced settings, by default, it defaulted to the credit card mode. So um, you know, before we forget, I'm going to need that banking info form completed so we can tie this to your bank account. Um, so by default, it's credit card mode. And then there's the amount per photo. We can change that to whatever we want. And then that's the only setting that you really need to worry about tinkering with. Um, but if you want to try the free mode, um, the free mode is always limited with the restaurant builds um, so it will give you two free sessions before it goes back to credit card mode so if you want to use it free turn credit card mode off hit save and then continue on to the start screen um, the tones right now are set to be whatever the user wants them to be if you want you could change to say make it half black and white and half color but we suggest leaving it as user choice for both copies. And it's going to hold that, that setting um, day after day. So at this point, we're in free mode. It's as simple as going to the start screen. And this is just on your initial setup, typing in your code, 3115. And you can really skip this calibration unless your photos are looking too dark or too light. And then we can go from there. So I'm just going to close it out. And then finally go back to the start screen. So this is what your customers are going to see uh, if you have a set in free mode. So they click start, they choose what filter they want, they then take their three photos. While it's taking the three photos, um, like I said, I'm just going to kind of walk you through kind of the day-to-day -day operations with the photo booth. Um, all you're really going to need to do every day is, is turn it on, hit OK on the event name, and get to the start screen that we just saw. And then at the end of the night, um, turn the machine off. Uh, in terms of turning the machine off, we don't want to just unplug it. We always want to shut down the computer um, you know, by either hitting the power button once so it shuts down nicely, or by um, going into our settings here and doing shut down. So, um, you know, that's very important that at the end of the night we shut it down. Um, let's say you want to turn it on, but you don't want people using it. You can go ahead and put it to the lock screen. And then again, up, tap upper right, bottom right, enter in your code, 3115, takes you to your icon screen. And now if you just want to see what the credit card mode looks like, hit save. It's going to be slightly different, so they'll see that it's $1.50 per session. It tells them, hey, try before you buy. Uh, we, we have found this is people end up taking more and paying for more photos this way. Um, they follow the prompts. Um, but this time, we don't print, and they don't get their photo until after they've paid. So this is a really nice um, way to... A, avoid refunds if, if for some reason the printer's out of paper, it doesn't, you know, there, if there's some glitch. Um, but also, people are more likely to pay after they've had fun using it. So, um, if you look at your photo booth right now after the session, you are not going to see a print come out because I obviously can't insert my credit card from being here in Minneapolis. But at this time, it says, nice work, you want your print? Exit the photo booth, find the credit card reader, follow the instructions, and wait for your print. And so there's a status telling them to insert their card. But again, as long as they follow the instructions on the card reader, they're set. 
Um, like I said, I'm not going to insert my credit card, so I'm not going to. Um, it's going to go back to the start screen, and it'll be ready for the next person to use it. Um, and then we took care of that bug where I kept printing that uh, password box on the photos uh, that you're seeing every session. So um, I'll show you that. I can show you what the digital images look like to show you that the that annoying box is no longer there. So um, at this point, there you go. Now we're back to the start screen. Again, tap upper right, lower right to kind of get to our controls. And you will see, I'm sorry, upper right, lower right. When I go to my event images, they're named by date. So here is today, 1214. And the last print looks like that. So we can keep in mind we can change all this branding. Um, and like I said, the settings that you're going to most likely tinker with are going to be, you know, turning the credit card mode on and off, um, changing the amount, uh, make sure you hit save. And then um, if you didn't want to let users choose uh, black and white color CPR retro, you would do that here. And then, um, you know, if we did need a light in the camera settings, let's say the photos were looking too dark. We can click on the camera settings and go emergency and click lighter once. And these values should change. Sometimes they get what I call sticky and now they changed. So that's going to be a little bit lighter than the previous photo. When it asks you to calibrate, I always skip it. You can just close that window out. And then go back to your start screen. So, um, I'm so excited for you guys to open. This is really the first kind of tutorial of probably many, but I just wanted to get you up and running. And again, let's uh, when you can get that paperwork back to me with the credit cards, um, so we can start putting some money in your bank. So uh, congratulations! I can't wait to to hear how things go with the booth. And um, yeah, send me send me your feedback. All right, have a great day.